Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use shaders. There are several different ways to accomplish this. Um, I'm going to show you the easy way. You're going to want to make sure that you have your uh, hotkeys set up so that you can use the menu, t menu toggle. Okay. Now one thing that I'm going to do, there's, we'll show two different ways here. One of them I'm just kind of trying as we, as we talk about it right here. So I'm going to go to directories and settings, okay. Now I'm going to go to video shader. Okay, and I'm going to choose my directory, which it's going to be wherever your RetroArch folder is. <coughs> Mine's under desktop, RetroArch, shaders. Okay, and you have a bunch of different directories, so you have to choose one. I'm going to go GLSL, and there's a ton of shaders in here. Figuring out which shaders you want is going to be up to you. And each of the different folders have so many different shaders like this. I like just old school CRT shaders. Okay, I'm going to click use this directory. Okay, and we're going to try something here. Now I'm going to go load a game. So, like I said, make sure you have your hotkey set for um, your menu toggle. It's in one of my other videos if you want to take a look. We're going to load up a game here. Okay. System sounds. Okay, we're going to turn this way down for you guys here. Okay, hopefully that turns the audio down. If not, okay, so I'll say it again. Hopefully that's me changing the settings made it so you can hear me instead of the game, but. Uh, Either way, you'll be able to hear me within the menu. So all I did is I started a game and I pressed select and A, which is my menu toggle hotkey. Okay. And I'm going to go down here to the bottom. Under shaders. Uh, you know what? Let's let's go back and see if my shader hotkey is going to work now. Hold on. I apologize for that. Let's go resume. Okay. That's perfect. So all I did is hit my shader hotkey that from within my directory, and it's going to choose. It's going to switch shaders. You see, and it can dramatically improve the look of your game, make it look like an old school. See, so it can even make it look curved, which is pretty cool, especially if you're using bezels. Okay, so in case you couldn't hear me there, um, I was just using my shader hotkey to go through and change shaders while in the game. Um, once you select a directory where there is actual shader files, it'll allow you to do that, but it's not going to save that so that you always use that shader. Now, if you want it to just automatically load up with a shader, you go into your hotkey or your, I'm sorry, your uh, quick menu, which is once you start a game, you hit your hotkey for menu toggle. You're going to come in here to shaders, um, load a shader preset, Okay, let me go to, see, so it, it automatically opened my CRT folder, but you can go, you know, you can use any of these different types of shaders, okay, but it, just so you know where it's at, it's in GLSL, CRT, and I like CRT easy mode, okay, so I'm just going to set that, and then I'll go to save, it's going to ask me, do I want to save shader preset as, okay, that's just so you can put in a name. I don't want to do that. Oh, come on, RetroArch, don't mess with me now. Whatever. I don't care. 
Okay. So now it's got a stupid name. Don't worry about that. You can save it as global. So that's going to be for every core. You can save it for just this core. Okay. You can save it for just this game. That's up to you. And it'll automatically load up when you load that game or that core or whatever, right? So I'm just going to put it as global because it works pretty good for everything. That's up to you. And now I'll show you. So we can quit RetroArch now. And if I fire back that back up and choose a game, it should automatically load that shader with my game. Let's give it a shot and see. We'll choose a different game here. Set core association. I'm going to set that as my core for everything. Okay, I'm sure that's what that is. If you go to set core association, you can choose the core that you want this system to run so it doesn't ask you every time. Okay, and there's the game, and you can see um, that it has the shaders set up. It'll improve the look a lot if you're on an HD game. Okay. Man, it's been a while since I played this. Oh, I died. Oh, I died again. I remember this game being tricky. Anyway, you get the point, so hopefully that helps you out.